I will use a strap today and please support yourself up in a nice tall seat so that you don't have to think about your seat for a bit, but we can just drop in to breath and awareness. Rainbows everywhere. And take this pause to invite your spine to float back into space. Align your ribs over your hips, your shoulders over your ribs and hips. You might help that out by lifting the heart and the sternum and just let the shoulders melt onto the back. Smile your ears back over your shoulders. Imagine, if you will, into the back body. And one of the ways that we see the back body in yoga is as the universal consciousness, the divine, that which is always holding us, but that we can't see, just like our spine, the center of our back that we never actually get a clear view of. So allowing a settling into that. Today is a dark moon, last night Shivaratri, and so today we are still with that energy of Shiva, that energy of contemplation, of turning inward in order to turn way outward into that vast consciousness, that oneness, the source that we all are. And with that, the creators that we all are, of our own lives, of the art of ourselves, the creators of our actions and reactions, the ways that we show up in the world. In this turning point here, right before we come into the new moon, right before we come into spring, what is it that you might choose to just compost to become part of that fertile ground for what you're choosing to grow or welcome, sprout, blossom with this spring? Are the ways that you're showing up and the things that you're spending your mind and energy on, are they things that you would choose, ways that you would choose? Are they reflexive, reactive habits that may be we can transmute, turning our pain into our power, our struggles into our freedom, turning the stories or limiting beliefs or constructs of mind that might hold us back, turning them over, looking at them. What is here to be learned from? What keeps repeating that wants to be seen? What can we choose to do differently? Courageously, vulnerably trying a new thing in a new way. Long, slow, deep, Breaths in the nose, out the mouth, soft jaw, soft tongue. Breathing and follow the breath inward. Feel the breath lift your heart, your chest, your shoulders, and soften and melt them as you exhale. Gonna focus a bit today on the shoulders and the back body as well as opening to spring. So a balance of this turning in, this opening out, this darkness and light, all that feeds each other and the whole spectrum between dissolving duality, embracing our fullness and the wholeness and fullness of our experience.
So following this breath, if you will, very mindfully, try not to stay, uh, be mechanical, but stay very mindful with the breath here and let the movement just kind of ride that breath, if you will. As you inhale, we're just simply gonna lift, lift, lift the shoulders up and feel how you can make more space for the breath that way, pulling it down deep. And then as you exhale, soft, slow, just melt, melt, melt the shoulders down. Inhale, press into thighs and sits bones and lift, lift, lift the shoulders up. Maybe at the top, you give them a little squeeze and a little hold. And as you exhale, slide the scapula down. Maybe even get some muscular action to the scapula, squeeze them down and together. Let your breath lead. Just sliding up and down at first. With the breath, a couple more. Notice where sensations and resistances are, and let's begin to play with that, if you will. You could push into the legs or into the earth behind you. As you inhale, work your shoulders on the back, and as you exhale, reach the shoulders forward and round through the upper back, kind of caving the chest in a bit there, or a lot. <clears throat> inhale, press in, squeeze shoulders, lift heart, really work those shoulders on the back and exhale, reach the shoulders forward as you curl in and stretch through the back body. Again, playing with this open heart, welcoming the new moon, welcoming the season and this quiet heart turning in, attending to the ground of our being, to what needs to be composted. Next time you open up, <clears throat> excuse me, back to center, let's roll the shoulders. So through all of those shapes and in between, rolling shoulders at the spine, flex with that flowing all the way through the neck, just everything nice and fluid in a way that feels good for you. You might roll the mouth with that, feel the connection here of all those parts, jaw, neck, shoulders. <clears throat> Opening up with your big wow mouth and face to this day, to this turning, to this incredible year that we made it through, thank goodness, and all that we've learned and all that we've lost and all that we've courageously, curiously opened to. Yes. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Switch directions. <clears throat> Last couple of breaths in this way. And we're going to do a seated shoulder um, opening sequence. So please, if you are uh, not comfortable in your seat, get a comfortable seat because we're going to be here a little longer. You might switch sides and then take your time. When you're ready, inhale and stretch up to the sky. Gather up the great potential of this day, this practice, and keep flowing. Bring that right arm over the left. Cross the arms over and give yourself a big, big hug. Draw the elbows down. Receive the weight in the chest and maybe a gentle stretch around the shoulders or the upper middle back. Notice what's there, breathe into it. And really receive your hug. Thank you, body. Nourishing, nurturing yourself. As challenging as yourself might be sometimes, here we are, thank you, self. Stay with that or continue 
<clears throat> to spiral the arms into eagle arms. So as much as you can, they keep spiraling until maybe palms come together or backs of the palms or holding one thumb, whatever works for you. And then lift your elbows as much as you can to shoulder height and move the hands away from the face. Here, make like you're trying to bust the elbows out to the side. So some pressure into the arms out to the side. Elbows up, shoulders down with that pressure. Some beneficial tension here, isometric tension, breathe into that. Stay with that or follow your inhale again, slow, steady, mindful breaths. Inhale, lift elbows, face, chest to the sky. And exhale as you curl in, elbows to the solar plexus, rounding in, let the arms be heavy, bow in. Long, slow, investigative breaths here. Listen, inward will go. After this one, three more. Take your time, continue following those just languid, mindful breaths and come back to center when you're ready. Once you do, extend the top arm. We use the bottom arm like a hook and draw that top arm across your body and then slide that right shoulder down away from the ear. So that's the inner arm shoulder. Soften the jaw and breathe here. Where's the edge there? Without force, just leaning in. As inspired, take that left hand, your flagged hand here, bring it to your right elbow and bring that forearm behind the head. Press the head back into the forearm, lift your chest, breathe here. You can stay here if by chance this is not much stretch for you. You might be able to hold your tricep or deltoid, your shoulder muscle on the other side, and then extend that arm out. It'll act like a weight and kind of traction that arm, right arm up and over a little more. Otherwise, just keep the hand on the elbow. You can always encourage it down a lot there and keep pressing head back, ears in line with the shoulders, face open. Ah, jaw soft, breathful. Next inhale, slide your arms up, that left wrist in front, palms together. Push into the palms and try to widen the shoulders away from each other. Lots of muscular action there. In that, there should be a little space between ears and shoulders. You could play with that as you like. And follow any inhale to lift the hands up now and squeeze the arms onto your head. And then as you exhale, just unwind. Float the arms down. You can float the wrist out. Little dancer arms there, just nice and fluid. We'll inhale, open up right again, reach to the sky and the left arm over the right. Big, big hug, cross the arms, pull the arms down. You might want to switch the cross of the legs or sit up higher if you need to. There should be no sharp pain in the knees. We want to be at ease in our seat. Please find a seat that's easy, as of course we have another whole side. Pulling down, ground, receive your hug. You, consciousness. Creator, divine, you, human, seeker, experimenter, what it is to be alive in a body here and now. Thank you, body. 
Thank you, body. Uh, stay with that or continue the spiral. I didn't mention it on the other side, of course, but if you stay with that, you can do the same movements here. Lift the elbows up. And if the arms are spiraled, hands away from the face a bit, and then give that little press pull out to the side with the arms, feeling that isometric tension that opens around the shoulders and upper back a little more. Deep full breaths. Stay with that or go bigger. Inhale, lift elbows, face chest. Keep the shoulders descending. Find your breathful edge there as you exhale, curl in. Elbows to solar plexus, round in, bow into yourself. Let your breath lead four more. Last breath cycle. And back to center. Extend the top arm. Use the bottom arm as a hook. Draw it across. Slide that shoulder blade down. Breathe into whatever sensation arises there. Soft mouth. Leaning into that edge without forcing, no press, maybe a little resistance to your press. Find where the opening, where the warmth happens, breathe into it. Stay longer if you like, or take that flagged hand high and bring it to your left elbow. And bring that forearm behind the head, hand trailing down the back. Press the head back into the forearm, lift your chest. Breathe that sensation. Again, maybe you stay there, working ears in line with shoulders, face open, hand down the back, or play with it if you'd like. You could grab a hold of that tricep or deltoid and extend the arm out to the side. Let it be like a weight. See what happens there. Follow your breath slow and steady to unwind. We're going to slide the hands up. This time the right wrist is in front. Wrists are crossed. Palms come together. Press into the palms and work the shoulders as wide as you can away from the ears. Work that opposite action for a few breaths. <sighs> Creating beneficial tension there in the traps and the neck. Likely you feel that in the scalenes or somewhere around there. <sighs> Stay with that as you like, or stretch, reach the arms up to the sky, squeeze the upper arms onto the shoulder and the shoulders onto the head. Inhale, inhale, squeeze and exhale. Whew, it's nice and fluid. Roll your wrists, roll your elbows, roll out the arms. Feel that fluidity in your body. Welcome your dancer arms, your fluid shoulders into this day. All right, kids, let's bring our beautiful hearts down to the dog of the earth. Come to rest upon the earth in child's pose. You could support your head or your whole body in any way that feels good for you, maybe padding under or behind the knees. Anyway, to be comfortable in child's pose for a bit as we're going to ground into the ground of being here, breathful and vibrational. 
So I brought Shiva out today from my main altar to the window to let the light shine through them. <clears throat> Shiva dancing upon the dwarf of ignorance here, while the dwarf of ignorance smiles, dancing with all the elements and acts of creation that concealing that potential that we're turning into now and remembering ideally our source what supports us what holds us what is the ground of our own being even as we dance with all that it is to be human all the feelings all the thoughts all the supposed to be's and wannabes Oh, what's beneath all that? We tune in to the ground of being. Press the hands out in front of you as wide as the shoulders into earth. Rest your head somewhere. So you feel a little pressure on the upper center forehead, your Lalatha Chakra. Grounding the nervous system here will add to that benefit by tuning into the vibration of all that is. You're welcome to take ohms here or just bees breath, brahmari, like the end of the ohm, the NG, in which with which we try to vibrate the pineal gland, so that third eye center that looks skyward, feeling that pressure on center forehead, sense into the crown of your head. And let's try to vibrate that third eye center. You can add to the effect of this vibration by, as you exhale, lifting pelvic floor, navel, tip of the tongue and eyes all lightly towards your third eye center. Exhale and empty. Let's take three long rounds. Maybe you can fit more in of Om or Brahmari here. I'm going with the bees. Mm. Let's roll. Thumbs up, palms open, thumbs towards the earth, pinkies spiraling up. Rolling into the shoulders there, feel that external rotation, maybe some stretch around the scapula and the thoracic spine between the shoulder blades. Reach your heart to the earth and press back. Wiggle or adjust your seat as needed. And we're going to take one long om or bees breath here. Exhale, empty. Inhale your yes, your intention, your offering today as we offer the hands up in this way. Mm -hmm. And let's bring the hands together bend into the elbows bring the hands to the base of your skull walk your elbows forward reach your heart to the earth breathe here if you will into your subconscious mind your ever present past our collective as ever present past into the field of consciousness as it is as it were for all of us and let's make a prayer for ourselves in the past for our ancestors for all beings in the past calling ourselves forward to survive to thrive to evolve to serve to grow exhale and empty Inhale your prayer when you're ready, Brahmari or Om. Mm. Jai Shiva Sankara. 
and unwind. Float the hands down, hands as wide as the shoulders, spread the fingers out, claw the fingertips, lift the palms up, hollow out, pull the earth back towards you, hollow out your armpits. Breathe that stretch. Last big inhale here as you exhale, keep pulling on those fingertips, lift from the navel and slide on up onto all fours. Again, breath practice here, nice fluid spine. Pull the hands and knees towards one another and inhale, lift your tail, lift your crown. Open up, opening up to spring, maybe lifting the corners of your mouth, opening up to clear, seeing the light of your intellect and lift the navel as you exhale, curl in, bow into your heart, listening as well to your emotional body, curling and listening to your dream body, your small self, that spark of light within you. Let's take it with us as we inhale, pull the hands towards the knees, shoulders down the back, open forward and shine that little light of yours out into the world, nice and bright. As you exhale again, pulling from the navel and curling in slow and steady, nice fluid spine. Find the fullest expression of each shape as you can and the fullest inhale that you can and the most complete exhale that you can. Emptying, emptying, emptying. Pause in the emptiness. Who are we there? Opening, opening, opening and pausing in the opening. Who are we here today? Let your breath lead. And stay with that or the next time that you round in, squeeze one of your ears, hips and shoulders together, really crunch together one side and lengthen out the other side. And then lift tail and crown, squeeze together the ear, hip and shoulder on the other side, and then push the earth away round. And we'll continue spiraling, spiraling through the spine, <clears throat> the neck, the hips, the shoulders can get really fluid there as well. Make it a nice dance for your shoulders again. Fluid body. <clears throat> Spiraling, being the way that nature works things out, the way that wind moves and whirlpools and flushing toilets. What are we letting go of here? What are we sending back into the earth to compost? And with that, what are we spiraling up and open to at the bottom switch directions? Come on back up, roll it through. Opening to the new. And maybe sometimes it feels like we're dealing with the same stuff over and over again. And will it ever stop? And will we ever get better? You are better. It's all in there. And every time we deal with it, notice. It may be a little lighter, a little less painful, a little shorter time. Maybe you have a new view or a new tool. Notice your growth, your unfurling, and then come back to center. Find neutral, honoring the movement in both directions. Let's come again into the back body a little more. So bring the right hand beneath the center of the chest and inhale, open left arm, face chest to the sky. As you exhale, let's swoop that left arm underneath the right arm. It's your back arm to face you. And again, we'll inhale, open and exhale, reach across, swoop, reach under, spiraling in. One more time, we're just gonna tease this in. Inhale, open, and then exhale all the way across as far as you can this time. Come down to the back of your head, the back of that shoulder, push into the front hand, roll your shoulders on the back, melt into the back of the head and shoulder there as much as you can. You could stay with that or add to the weight that you're pressing into that shoulder by extending your right foot out to the side, push into that right foot, almost like you're trying to roll over onto your back here. Find that edge right before you roll onto your back. That right hand or front hand can walk up overhead, help you to spiral in deeper. 
Again, seeking that edge where you can really lay into that left shoulder in a good way. And breathe into whatever sensations there. Slow and steady, bring the knee back, bring that hand back down, come back up to all fours. And here again, you could shoulder roll or cat cow or whatever feels good there, just get nice and fluid. And then take your time. We'll bring that right hand a little more to the center of the mat and inhale, left arm, face chest open, exhale and swoop it across. Wait, we just did that side. No, I don't have a favorite side. Left hand beneath the center of the chest. Inhale, right arm, face, chest open. Make sure you're on your second side is all. And again, we'll tease it in, warming that up. And when you're ready, take it all the way across. Come into the back of that shoulder as far as you can. One breath at a time, no rush. Press in and roll to the edge. Maybe you add the leg out to the side, helping you press. Maybe that left hand walks on the floor, up overhead on the floor, and give a little pull on the floor. And press it through the foot. And roll into that right shoulder and the back of the head until you almost feel like you're just going to roll over onto your back. And breathe there. Press into the back of that right hand. Send the breath into the back body, the unseen into all that has brought you here. Thank you. Thank you as we heal and grow and become stronger, softer. Mm, more loving. A couple more breaths here. And then slide that top hand down, draw the knee in, press up when you're ready and come on back to all fours. And nice fluid rolls through the shoulders, cat, cow, whatever feels good there. So as we touch in with Shiva a bit today, you know, there's this classical yoga thing that often refers to Shiva as the destroyer. Well, as you know, I'm a tantrika and in tantra, we um, see Shiva as the ground of being, just that pure benevolent, even vibration of infinite potential of all that is, that which from Shakti creative energy arose, which has always been part of it. And so being that ground of being that all things come from, indeed, it is the thing that all things go back to, that they die to, that they dissolve and dissolute to. Come to your belly, step your feet back, come to your elbows. And so that's kind of scary, this great big nothing everythingness that we uh, um, mysteriously come from, that we mysteriously fade away into. Yeah, so the destroyer, I get where it came from. And let's welcome the mystery. Open your heart, if you will, to the mystery today, Sphinx pose, maybe channeling that great golden mystery of the Sphinx in Egypt and give a little pull with your forearms, shoulders on the back, push into pubic bone and sacrum and lengthen the navel forward, heart forward, open your chest and breathe. Really strong, activity here through the pelvis. Push down with your pubic bone, with your sacrum. Drag the heart forward, work the shoulders wide and onto the back and breathe your golden heart, your yes to life, I am.
stay with this mindful breath, your contemplative presence. As we continue to play with this opening and the turning in. And drag your heart forward, lower down. You could rest the forehead a moment, bring the hands underneath the shoulders, spread the fingers wide, and then give a little roll out of your shoulders, roll them around. And just breathe some nice fluidity in there. Make your legs nice and strong. Point the toes straight back and pull with your hands, elbows and shoulders down the back. Push into your pubic bone. Find that ground of being, if you will, through your pubic bone and sacrum. Root into it and let that birth the shakti of your being, the creative light of your being open. Lifting heart forward, shoulders on the back. Breathe wide across the wings of your heart. Shine out. Stay here as you like and simply be in this meditation of open chest, elbows and shoulders back, heart forward, or pulse. Exhale long and slow and melt back down. Bow in. Stay bowed in as long as you need to. Breathe and repeat your yes. Coming from your rooting, from the ground of your being, from the ground of all that is infinite potential moving through you. Shining your heart forward and up and open to the light of spring. Spring, ying, 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 spring on its way. Pulse with your breath or hold open three more breaths. And then lengthen forward and lower down. Open your elbows out wide to the side. So hands straight out to the side and elbows straight out from the shoulder, fingertips directly underneath your elbows. Pull with your fingertips, shoulders on the back. Hollow out the palms and then roll shoulders up to the ears together on the back and pull elbows and shoulders down the back as you can. Press into sacrum and pubic bone and inhale, open up. As you exhale, spin the right shoulder down and turn. Look over the left shoulder. Inhale, roll that shoulder back, press in, open up, strong core, lift the navel. As you exhale, spiral, other side. Move with your breath, please. Twice again, each side or pause where you need to. Last couple of breaths. And then open up center, exhale, lengthen forward and lower down. Reach the arms out in front of you. Let's have the palms facing one another. God, that light's so bright. I'm just getting washed out here, but it's good. And uh, I hope it's okay. And hands out, palms face each other, active hands, thumbs up, and then Reach out through the shoulders, inhale. As you exhale again, push into sacrum and pubic bone and slide the hands back towards you, incidentally lifting the chest. And inhale, reach right arm up at your height with the bicep, lower it down, left arm up. Exhale, lower it down, both arms up. Yep, probably gonna lower the whole body down there. And then inhale, reach out in front of you. And exhale, pull back, elbows and shoulder blades down the back, squeeze. Inhale, reach out in front of you, press into your legs, nice strong anchor into the earth and pull back elbows and shoulders down and breathe into the wherever sensation is, but use the breath to ride upon just again, waves of breath leading the way. Inhale and reach, exhale and pull. Hi. We're swimming. Inhale, reach. Keep 
keep that rooting again into that ground of being here in this case, pubic bone and sacrum. Uh, supporting your blossoming, your opening. Let's go just one more and we'll pause, pull back and then take the right arm and cross it over the left as much as you can. Cross the arms over each other, center of that cross right in the center of the chest. You can walk the fingers out there and then turn your toes under and scoot yourself forward. Reach through the head, heavy head, and then let the head huh, be heavy over the shoulders or the upper arms. You can keep playing with palms down here or you could play with rolling palms open. See if it makes any difference to you. In big breaths, in the nose and out the mouth as much as you can. I know it's a little tricky with the mouth relaxing here, but see if you can. And wherever sensation arises there, send the breath right there. And this pose is sometimes called the Ganesh Asana. And so here we meditate on what it is that we carry around on our shoulders, feelings of judgment, <sighs> burdens, expectations, all that stuff. Let's just imagine that melting away right now, if you will. Please stay longer if you like, or walk the hands forward. Walk the hands forward until just before the elbows uncross. We wanna keep the arms crossed above the elbows, proximal towards the center of the body, and then bend the elbows. And if you can, bring the hands together, palms together, maybe backs of the hands or hold a thumb. Lift up from the core a bit and reach those elbows forward as far as you can. If your right arm is on top, you're gonna to turn the head to the left so you can nestle in and rest into your right arm there. Breathe here. <sighs> Sensations melting behind the heart, opening. Opening to the beauty of all that we've been through. How all of our challenges have forged our golden hearts. How all of our losses have opened us up to new beginnings. May we remember these things when times are hard. Please stay here longer if it's right for you. When you're ready or inspired, we'll unwind, reach the arms out, and exhale, pull. Elbows and shoulders down the back, swim. Inhale, reach strong, strong legs. Push into the earth if you'd rather. You could squeeze the legs together and lift them up. You could even kick a bit like swimming with the legs. Otherwise, just find the anchoring, either of the legs and the pelvis, or just strongly of the pelvis with a strong core and that helps you shine open. Last few breaths like this. And take your time once you're done, legs back down, cross the left arm over the right, second side. Walk the arms over to the sides, hands crawling to the sides as far as you can, cross of the arms in center. You could turn your toes under, scoot yourself forward, reach through your head, let the head be heavy, relax the legs, breathe here. Breath in the nose. <sighs> breath out the mouth, letting go breaths. Play with the hands. What activity or rotation of the hands makes a difference? Maybe nothing. Check it out. You don't know until you try. I'm feeling that a reaching through the hands and a pressing down. Again, into this ground of being. Jai Shiva. Boom, boom, Shiva. Hare. 
Nirva invites us to remember this ground of being, this infinite potential, this vibration, this divine energy that we all are, this oneness that's beneath the dance that we have not only with ourselves, but with one another, seeing reflections, refractions, fragments of all the ways that consciousness shows up and dances through different apparent forms. And this is what we're alive for. And may we also remember that place where we connect beneath it all. Walk the hands forward as inspired until just before the arms uncross and then bend the elbows, bring the palms together or backs of the hands, whatever you need. Maybe you can lift from the core a bit or just slide the arms forward. And then whatever arm is on top, you'll turn the head to the side. So maybe you're turning the head to the right now if your left arm's on top. And just nestle in there, keep some active reaching through the elbows, triceps, melt the heart, breathe behind the heart, <sighs> the universal, your yes. Please stay as you like or unwind when you're done there. You can play a moment with rolling the shoulders out or just come back to swimming as you like about four or five more breaths. Next time you pull back, let's reach the arms straight out to the side, straight out from the shoulders to the sides, and then down. Keep the right arm out to the side or whichever arm you want to work with first, palm down, and then slide those left fingers in, elbow bends, and step the left foot behind the right knee, roll open. Use those front fingers to push into the earth, work your shoulder blades on the back, lift your heart. Slide the ears back over the shoulders, maybe rest the head on something if it doesn't, um, breathfully rest on the floor. Stay there or rest that top forearm back of it onto the low back and push into it to bounce that shoulder back. <sighs> or reach down for that top ankle or foot and kick it back towards the bottom hand, lifting your chest. Where's the breathful edge? Lean in to the edge of your comfort here. Who are you there? What arises there? What wants to be seen in this breathful contemplative practice today? And two or maybe three more breaths there if you like. Come out sooner if you need. But when you are ready to come out, if you've got a hold of that top ankle or knee, maybe you can just slowly, slowly keep a hold of it and draw the knees back together so you get a nice uh, traction or stretch out of that top ear, neck, shoulder connection. Soft jaw. Oh. Stay with that as long as you like or slowly roll it back to your belly, even keeping a hold of the foot if you like, as you roll back to the belly and you could rotate the hand around to hold the inner foot or ankle and kick back and open up. I'll half um, done your asana here. And then take your time. Once you're done, come on down and just find some nice fluid movement again through your shoulders. And then extend that left arm straight out to the side, palm down. Press into your right fingers and let's roll on open to the left. Step that right foot behind the left knee. Use those front fingers to press into the earth. Work the shoulder on the back. Breathe here. 
maybe that's an edge or see where it is. Maybe back of that right forearm comes on to the low back and push into it, work the shoulder on the back, relax the jaw and breathe here. Stay with that or maybe reach down for that bottom ankle or top ankle or foot, excuse me, and kick it back towards the bottom hand. Lift the chest, ears in line with the shoulders, soft neck, soft jaw, deep full breaths to lift the heart and breathe. Your yes, your light wide across the wings of your heart. <sighs> Last couple breaths. <sighs> Please, again, stay as you like, or if you've got a hold of that ankle or foot, maybe you're slowly, slowly drawing them back together, the knees, that is, getting the tractioning of that neck shoulder connection. <sighs> Pause anywhere and soft in your mouth and breathe that. Maybe keep a hold of that foot as you come back and flip the hand around, if maybe holding the inside of ankle or foot and kick that foot back using the front hand or forearm to open up into a partial Dhanurasana. Breath, full heart. Stay with that, play with that, or options. Drag the hands back on the floor, opening the chest forward, lift and lengthen up and then lower part way, lift the hands up, maybe lift the legs up and you could fly in and out of that, just kind of lowering the legs and the hands, lift the chest, lower the chest, lift the hands and the legs or at any point bend into the knees, maybe fly everything up as much as you can or reach back for the ankles or feet and then push down through the thighs, push down through the pubic bone, press into the sacrum and kick the feet back, open the chest. You could pause at wherever your breathful edge is, or again, dive back down to the earth. Kick back an open heart to the sky. Breathful body, about five more breaths, pulsing or Leaning into that edge, who are you there? Take your time, once you're done, unwind. Come down to the earth, hands under shoulders. Roll the shoulders around, open up and press back into child's pose. Again, we'll pause in child's pose. You could pause with the hands out in front of you and push your hips back and breathe that counter pose for your lower back. Stay in that press back and wiggle, wag your tail there. Or you could hold one wrist with the other hand on your low back. After a few breaths, switch it or as you like, and breathful simply here, or Brahmari, bees breath again, that pranava or om is also welcome. Exhale and empty, inhale your intention, your yes, nourishing the seed with your vibrations. Again. <sighs> Please pause as you like or move so slowly in any way that feels good for you, maybe back into downward dog. And then ultimately 
into a standing position. You've got about five or six breaths and just make your way to standing in these next breaths. Mindfully, breathfully investigative, what's on the way there? How are your legs doing? In the next breath or two, even make your way slow and steady up to stand. Here is where, if you have a strap, I would love for you to get it. Um, this could be a yoga strap or a belt or a scarf or a tie, bathrobe strap, whatever you got. Um, you can also use a broom or something for, you know, I think for all of it. Um, I definitely do. So yeah, let's just get some more warmth and opening in the shoulders today. As I said, we are focusing on back and shoulders and heart opening. So probably you're feeling that all. We're just gonna repeat some shapes here. Um, but first, a little workout for your shoulders. Hold your tool, whatever you've got, exactly as wide as the shoulders. So the hands are coming straight out from the shoulders and then pull strongly on that, like you're trying to break it apart. Bring the hands up to shoulders height, pull, and see if with that pull, you can really work the shoulders together on the back. And then you may have noticed what happened there if you were watching me. What happens is I tend to pop my ribs out because that flexibility is right there. And so what we want to do is not take all that flexibility, but have the shoulders take it. So keep the ribs and hips connected with some core strength. Hold your strap, pull, and then inhale, arms up overhead. Same thing. Keep them just as wide as the shoulders. Pull on that strap and then pull down like you're pulling down weights. Elbows bend, and as much as you can, strap comes behind the head here. If the shoulders are tight, and again, you're pretty back bendy, it's likely here that that arch is gonna wanna happen and you know it may feel good and it may not be as beneficial, especially for your shoulders. So try to keep that integration. We are gonna back a bend again soon. Try to keep the integration of ribs and hips and just pull down, squeezing, pulling on that strap, squeezing the shoulder blades together. Breathe the opening of the chest and that heat and warmth that you're creating in the shoulders. If you have to lean the head forward to get the strap behind it, just don't go as far. Keep the ears in line with the shoulders and pull down just to wherever you can without having to move the head. Let's just do five more. Pause if you like, just fashionably wearing your strap. Shake your hands out. And again, get those little fluid, dancey arms going. And then when you're ready, we're gonna take the strap as wide as you need to, to be able to do this move and as narrow as you can, so you get the most um, stretch out of it. So it'll be holding the strap again with some tautness, pull on it and inhale the arms up. And then we're going to exhale the arms back. So slide the hands as wide as you need to and able to, in order to do that smoothly. Inhale up and exhale forward. So if when you're doing this, one shoulder's coming up or the elbows bending or popping, then please walk the hands wider. We really want that space for it to be a nice fluid flossing of the shoulders. You may notice that one shoulder's tighter and wants to go slower. Please slow down to where that shoulder's at. Okay. 
it can be helpful to look into your camera or your mirror or something reflective here so that you're sure that you are going at the same rate. If one shoulder had an injury or has been tighter for a longer time, it may feel like it's doing the same thing as the other one and you look and you're like, oh, I'm like that. So just noticing and let it be interesting and see what happens there. We'll just do a couple more breaths. And then again, you could put your strap down or you could wear it fashionably for moments because we are going to get into the legs a bit before we do our next Mahashiva pose um, for today before we end. So when you're ready, let's step the left foot back and come into a right leg lunge. You want that right knee to be coming directly out of the hip point and landing as much as you can directly over the ankle for your full um, bend in this pose. Back leg can walk back as far as you can to find that alignment and some nice active stretch here. Pull right hip back, left hip forward. Press the hips down and lift and lengthen up out of the waist, work the shoulders on the back. Options here, you can keep the hands on the hips and just melt the knee down, getting that quadriceps and psoas open and then in, uh, squeeze and lengthen up. So that'll be your exhale, squeeze and lift up. Your inhale, lengthening down. Here you could stretch the arms up and really elongate that line and as you exhale hands could come down to center or flying. Inhale up, exhale wide. Whatever your space or your body feels good for with at the moment. Let's go three more. I mean I meant five more. We did three. I want to do eight. Here we go. And then hands to the heart, inhale, stretch that back leg out, exhale, pick it up, step forward. Pause, notice the difference in the side, breathe and repeat your heart's yes. I am sent into that ground of being and all the swirly deliciousness of being human. Inhale as you exhale, step the right foot back, see you're in a left leg lunge. Again, you might begin hands to hips and really square your hips up. Find that alignment, middle hip point, middle knee, middle toes. Left hip back, right hip forward, front knee right over the ankle as much as you can. Push hips down and lift and lengthen up out of the waist. Work your elbows and shoulders on the back. Breathful here. Stay here as you like or melt the back knee down. Keep lengthening through the spine in both directions. That's your inhale as you exhale. Push into the feet, squeeze the inner thighs, straighten up and let your breath lead. Inhale, stretch it out. Exhale, fly. Five more. Raise and Shiva up, suck the energy blossoming the spring and exhaling, bowing back down into the ground of our being or offering back whatever we're done with as compost. A few more breaths. Once you're done, again, come back to center. Inhale, stretch it out any way you like. <clears throat> when you're ready to transition, exhale, hands to heart and back foot picks up and come on in. So for this next bit, you could use your strap or not. Since we have a strap when we did all this opening in prep for this, you might use it. You choose whatever's right for you. If you're gonna use your strap, what we're doing is strapping up that front leg ankle and then we're going to swoop and just kind of throw that over our shoulder there and you can use that first to level out the knees hip points you could pull that foot in this could just be pulling the foot in with the hand or pulling it up with the strap stay there get that quad stretch find your balance your breath your centering and then when you're ready maybe you begin to kick that foot back 
as you walk the hands back on the strap. So that's great. Two arm version, optionally, if you don't wanna use the strap, holding with one hand and then the other hand could come to support you on a wall or anywhere, or just reach up, counterbalancing your nataraj, your dancer pose, cosmic dancer. A pose of grounding and opening, of receiving and letting go, of opening front and working the back body, all of it at once, all of it, the great circle of life. And then inhale, once you're done, maybe you just come right down into squat or pick that leg up, step wide and come down. Malasana, yogic squat, press the thighs wide, lift your lower back in up, lift your heart up. And this malasana could be a more upright squat, or if you like, it could be really a kind of back stretch, a big back stretch and curling in. So pull the hips back and the fingertips forward as you like, bow in. Stay as you like or hug feet to earth, muscles to bones, root to rise and roll or fly on up at the top, gather up, center in and pause, breathe your hearts, yes, I am. <sighs> Again, if you used to stop on the other side, let's do that on this side. Pour the weight into your left foot or your second side and strap up your other ankle. Sling that thing over the shoulder with love and care. Knees even out, hip points even out. Lift from the core, shoulders on the back, breathe here. Once you feel even here and breathful, active down into your roots steady in the ground of your being and ready to blossom out into the great mystery and excitement of your becoming, then go for it. Kick the leg back, walk the hands down the strap as much as you can, open the chest. Active back foot, active core, you're lifting strong through the navel. Again, feel free to stay with that or as you did on the other side, maybe just one hand. The other one could support you or just reach up, counterbalance. Take your time, stay as you like or unwind. Maybe you come right into squat or pick it up. Step wide and come down into your squat whenever you're done. Take pause, either pressing strongly there. Maybe you wanna take flight there, last little active pose and then we're coming to rest. So knees up high on the triceps, spread the fingers, squeeze, claw forward, look forward, pick up your toes, press into your arms, straighten your legs, push the feet together, breathe. Stay with that or of course, the squat we begin with or the nice long back stretch squat. Hips back, fingers forward, head heavy, bow in. <sighs> Stay there as long as you like. Take any movements that feel good for you to feel complete. And then we're slowly gonna make our way down to the earth. I have another class at noon. So I have to end really soon. It'll be a brief um, departure today, but just come down when you're ready. Back body on the earth, hug into your knees. Maybe draw some circles, massaging into the back, squeezing the knees in more and letting them away a little bit. <sighs> Find where you get the most massage or counter pose or <sighs> sighing breaths from this back body on the earth. Breathe again into the ground of being and all of the liveliness that you've expressed today already. 
even so slowly and mellow as we did today. I know some of it got big. Stay with that, or let's make this into a happy baby here. You are rebirth. Reach down for ankles or over the tops of the feet and flex the feet to the sky. Use the elbows to push your thighs wide. Pull your knees down. At the same time, push your heels to the sky. Really find that opposite action. Knees down, heels up, thighs wide. <sighs> Soft jaw. And you can play with that as you like. Pull one knee down. And then the other, rock into the back body. Soften your jaw and breathe. Maybe you play with extending the legs out or just one leg and then the other. What feels good for you here? Any last movements or shapes that your body wants? Make a little plow pose. Stay and play with that as you like, or take a brief twist on each side. As you're ready, if you're twisting, begin to slowly, breathfully, make your way to second side. <sighs> Sigh out those exhales, extend the exhale, give a little squeeze, a little vibration. <sighs> Release any residual tension. Stay with the shape as long as you like. Or come on back to center whenever you're ready and hug in. Massage your back. Give yourself a squeeze. Maybe you rock and roll up for a meditative seat. Maybe you give a hug squeeze and then just unfurl. Shavasana, corpse pose. Give your body to the earth. <sighs> Open your heart and mind to the sky. Any final resting shape. As you come into your final resting shape, inhale and squeeze, squeeze, squeeze all your muscles to the bones. And then exhale, melt, melt, melt. Let go. Seek out any areas of resistance, tension, intensity. And inhale and squeeze, squeeze into them, exaggerate them. Thank you, thank you, thank you. And I don't need you anymore. Relax. Melt, let go. Whatever's present there, what's the message for you? What's the gift? Receive it. Thank it. Let it go. And rest in open awareness. Simply notice that subtle vibration, your pure essence nature, the ground of being, what we all are. And dancing above that life flowing in and out of form thoughts and perceptions coming and going and you noticing and staying connected to the ground of being. So hum. Jaya Shiva Shankara. Boom, boom, hara hara. I encourage you to stay as you are resting in meditation, in spacious 
relatively silent contemplation as long as he can. I've been with you today as long as I can be. I'm grateful for it. Thank you. Namaste. Namago. Bye. I hope to see you soon. <laughs>